So here's a problem, and I rewrote it here. E is a parabolic cylinder, y equals 6x squared, and it's going to be sliced by the blue plane, z equals 4x, and the green plane, y equals 12x, and z equals 0. Now let's look at the picture of this region down here. So we have the parabolic cylinder. Here's the green plane slicing with the blue plane, right? And I already forgot the name of them. The green plane is y equals 12x, and the blue plane is z equals to 4x, right? Now, the <clears throat> what is the region? It's kind of deceiving because you think it's the region on the top here, right? But what I did was I took another picture of it, and oh, let me bring it up a little bit. You can't quite see it. What I did was I redrew, not necessarily redrew it, but I just added a little something to it. So here's here's our region in question, and there's a I located a point inside the region. So here's this red. Dot. So it's actually the bottom region if we flip it over. Okay. Now I say that the region is which will allow us to set up the limits of integration is the set of x, y, and z, such that x is between 0 and 2, and y is between 6x squared and 12x, and z, of course, is between 0 and 4x, in which case our triple integral for f is going to be the following triple integral. The outermost will have constants of uh, x equals 0 to 2. In the middle one is going to be y between 6x squared and 12x. And then the inner one is between 0 and 4x with respect to dz. Now, how we determine this region correctly is it's kind of hard because you got too many planes here. It's best to start with the <clears throat> intersection of the parabolic cylinder with the green plane, which is y equals 12x. Right. And then you can see from that one here, a couple things going on. I don't know. Let me twist this a little bit. I think it got missed, twisted around. Let's bring it up around the way that it should be. Sorry, give me a second here. I'm taking a little more time than I need. Here we go. Now I think we're cool. Now this is what, no, it's upside down, but it's okay. You can see now that the green plane cuts the parabolic cylinder at x equals 0 and x equals 2. So that gives us the constants, and our variable that will be chosen will be x. <clears throat> and then you can see in this one here, and this is important, that's actually on the according to the y cylinder, no, y axis. There you go. Ah. Let's see if I can get it correctly. Uh, it's taking a little more time than I need. Here we go. Now that's pretty good. You can see that the the parabolic cylinder is actually closer to the origin than the green plane. So therefore, the y values, well, the lower limits for the y is the parabolic cylinder. Cylinder y is greater or equals to six x squared and less than or equals to 4x, right, which is the green plane, a 12x. So that is the y values range from uh, lower limits, 6x squared, and between 12x. And then obviously the z is goes from 0 to 4x. And so that's our limits of integration. So I did the grunge work here summarize so that we first would integrate with respect to z going from 0 to 4x. And since there's no z in here, it's just 4x, right? Because 0 is going to be z. And then we integrate this term with respect to dy. <clears throat> and this is stepwise is here. I just modified out the 4x. And then limits of integration is 12x and 6x, which gives us 4x squared times 12x plus 6x. And 
we combine them all, it becomes minus 216x to the fifth minus 24x plus 912x. And then our final integration is from 0 to 2 of x and gives us this term. And I took the liberty of doing it here. And it turns out it's this integral is exactly the same as the triple integral. So we actually cheated here. We actually evaluate the triple integral. So the whole thing is equals to 595 over 595.52 divided by 5, uh, which is a precise answer. I like it. It's no decimals. I prefer well, we're, we're mathematicians. We like decimal, uh, fractions anyway. So that's good. And that's it, folks. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, let me paste this final solution here. If you have any questions, if you want me to go over this figure uh, to kind of describe the region as follows, then feel free to drop me a line. I think this is the best I can do. Okay. Uh, Happy New Year's. I'll see you all.